<laughs> hey YouTube, this is Rex Pack Time Lime. I'm Rose. I'm Nikki. And this is Demon Slayer Episode 9. So, last episode we had him come across Muzan, Kitsubugi, the self. <laughs> so, what do you guys think is going to happen here? Obviously, Muzan just made another demon right in the middle of everybody. Yeah. yeah. So, this is going to be difficult for um, Tanjiro because he's used to fighting in like open space, mm -hmm. being able to like maneuver Free himself maneuver easily. Him. So, mm -hmm. I feel like he, he will adapt quickly enough, mm -hmm. but I think that'll be a struggle at first. Um, but the other struggle is like his focus because he's found the one that he's been trying the one to find. responsible. He found him right here, but he's yeah. got a kid. Yeah. What think about that? I think, I think he's a disguise. Yeah, I think he's just undercover. I mean, how is he? Able, well, I guess we don't know his like makeup, like able to reproduce and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. You know, so what his history is, I'm, I'm curious to find out. And I wonder how, if, how, I, yeah, let's just watch it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anything? No. All right. Well, let's get into it. Guys, thank you very much for being here. Guys, if you liked the video, please remember to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. Check the description for the Patreon if you want to see the next episode a whole week early. Also, remember to keep your eyes op ears open for the Tuesday community post that is going to announce what show won the Tuesday slot to replace IQ. So thank you guys very much. We'll see you in discussion. Ow. can he do for him? He can't leave him and he, he sees him walking away. What do you do? Like a Dr. Vampire. <laughs> I wish to annihilate that man. Oh dear. She's in close proximity to him. Mm. The aristocrat. It's aristocracy. Mm. Ali. That's how you know he's tough. That's his trigger, fallen over dead. Oh, dead. Okay. Brother! <laughs> oh, dang. There goes another brother. You've been hit by a spoon. Don't, don't. <laughs>
He's sending them after Tanjiro. He hit him. Wow. <laughs> he jumped from that position. He's still mad. <laughs> Earrings. Earrings. That's a red one. Oh, it's a red sword. But the hair is be similar. The hair is similar, so it must be someone related to him. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> <on> man. Hunger. Amazing. <laughs> as long as you get it, he gets it. He gets it. She says it's something. Oh, it's an enemy. Uh oh, the whole thing where she, all demons are enemies. I swear, <laughs> she's adorable. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> <laughs> Look at her features. <laughs> <laughs> He's just dragging her. Like, he truly must not have gotten a good look. Yeah. <laughs> He's still going. <laughs> Go ahead, person. Scooting on the floor. She's angry and poor. 
I smell everything. Right? <laughs> There's some bad directions. <laughs> Vindictively. <laughs> She's still just playing on the floor. There are That's all he's thinking about. <laughs> oh. Do you have a choice? He's <laughs> holding back Don't on Don't even appreciate it. episode was we found a demon that's not evil mm, yeah. that somehow changed her so i thought she would go into it but uh, not this episode well, yeah. like how did she she was able to get rid of the curse on herself mm -hmm. and tweak her body composition yeah. somehow mm. she said it took her 200 years to be able to, be able to make yashiro so she's ancient yeah so i imagine it's something like a long time ago she got changed. Maybe she was different back in the day, but as time went on, she wanted to be mm -hmm. rid of the curse. Mm -hmm. Maybe once she figured out how to do that, she figured to just push a little further, and then she figured mm -hmm. out, hey, I don't have to be like this. Mm. Or maybe his curses were different 200 years ago. Yeah. Yeah, maybe or, he's changed it. Or maybe she was even a doctor in life, and maybe because of that moral code, it was, she was always pushing back against the grain, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah, we so we've learned... Already from Nezuko, that there are some be some of the demons are a little bit different. Yeah. Um, some of them fall more easily into the depravity. Some mm -hmm. of them push back against it a bit more. Mm -hmm. It seems incredibly, incredibly difficult to do that, but it yeah. is not unheard of. Mm -hmm. Or, or at least we have confirmation that it can it's happen. It's possible. It can right. happen. Yeah. Yeah. 
Though she did remark that Nezuko is very rare, rare and yeah. unique. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But some of the things she pointed out about Nezuko, the fact that she was asleep for two years mm-hmm. and didn't crave human flesh or go berserk after that, mm-hmm. she's still fine and sane, so mm-hmm. to speak. Yeah. Um, after that, that is what that's one of the things that makes mm-hmm. her rare. Yeah. I, I kind of personally thought that maybe you would have gone she was she would have gone berserk before falling to sleep and she yeah. just kept fighting, fighting, fighting until she passed out. Right. Mm-hmm. And then during the pass out period her body changed itself to accommodate this non eating blood kind of person. Mm-hmm. But I, I I don't think really back that, but yeah. Mm-hmm. And what do you guys have for this episode? Um Chow time. Guy oh, his wife. Yes. Oh, 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 that's what you mean. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were talking about Udang. I thought you were talking about Udang. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> Guy bit his wife. And then, what's his name? Uh, Tanjiro was like, don't pull me off of him. I'm trying to save your lives. Mm-hmm. So at least the very uh, low-level policemen have no idea what these things yeah. are. Yeah. Or at the very least not what a demon slayer is. Mm. Right, that too. Um, yeah. it's, it's possible that, like, we know that some of the people in the countryside had heard of it, maybe. Maybe they could have had heard of it too, but they didn't understand the situation because they're just walking up on some kid holding on a guy. Yeah. They didn't, but they did n- remark that the guy saw his eyes like, wow, this guy looks insane. Yeah. Look at his eyes. Yeah. So they knew <laughs> something was up. And then the way um, Demon Doctor was able to stop them, she cut herself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And like the enchanting blood it's, is what it was. Enchanting blood. Yeah. So her so blood did that that's and her made art, I guess. flowers. Yeah, that's her. Sorry. That's her. Blood art, or mm-hmm. whatever it is that she developed after two hundred years. <laughs> so I, it, it took me back when I thought about, in hindsight, man, Kitsubuji is like thirty yards away. Mm-hmm. He's close, mm. and if she's trying to stay low key and her enemies get Kitsubuji, I, I'd be, I'd I'd be even I might be leaning towards, I can't help this kid. Yeah. Maybe let the police beat him up. Maybe give it a bit more time, push it to the limit, then use the blood. Mm. But I think she maybe was watching for a while. Yeah. And she thought, oh, it's safe now. But I think so. And the, the, <coughs> the policemen saw the patterns. Yes. Yeah, they were like, like, what, what is this patterns? Yeah. So it basically floods your vision. Mm. And nobody can really see what's happening. It's like a smoke screen with yeah. flowers. With <laughs> flowers. <laughs> I'm wondering what they did with the demon. She said she they said, locked, it, locked, tied him up, constrained him in the basement or something like that. Mm-hmm. All right, kidnapped him. <laughs> <laughs> um, she, well, she was treating treating her his her t- treating the wife. You think we'll see him again? Maybe I think she would probably like experiment with looking at his blood because he's readily available. Yeah. I don't know. He pro- he didn't get that much. Well, we don't know how much blood he can inject at a time. Mm-hmm. That was just a quick swipe. We don't know what he normally does. Like what he was doing to that girl. Mm-hmm. We like, saw he, he can use his fingers. Yeah. To yeah. Quick swipe. I imagine not very much. Like. I imagine it was very little. Yeah, but it was quick. Mm-hmm. Quick turn. As opposed to, like, Nezuko was, like, passed out for a long time her. when he mm-hmm. found her before she, like, woke up and was a demon. So we have some parameters that we're showing this episode. So we know that he can turn you with a very quick swipe, but at the same time, he showed that if he floods somebody with his blood, it will overwhelm the body and cause cell degradation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because they transform too quickly. Mm-hmm. So now we basically have a limiter that he has and perhaps that is partially the reason why certain demons are stronger than others maybe he put more in them just to see how much he could take and they could take it mm. maybe or, or perhaps he lets you tra- transform and then gives you more blood mm. hmm. and also there was his trigger yes the paleness yes. looking dead what do you think about that so I'm thinking he's he he's he's he wants to live forever, but yeah, I don't understand. <coughs> unless unless like after a while, demons degrade and want are gonna die eventually. Like, mm-hmm. what is his fear that he would ever die? Unless he's super well, he he is super old, right? He's supposed to be like centuries old or whatever. He's got to be yeah. right because he's the originator mm-hmm. of these transformation abilities. Um, but he's he's really sensitive about about not looking human. Mm-hmm. For some reason, yeah, he said um, he was looking for perfection. Right. So I think it's not that looking for perfection. I thought you said I mm-hmm. am per- close, to, infinitely it, close, close to, to perfection. perfection. Yeah. So basically, I think is the, the complex. I think it's that they called him pale. Are you sick? Is mm-hmm. what he the 
drunk guy said. So he's like, so are you, I look unhealthy to you? Does my complexion look sickly to you? Mm-hmm. I think that was the problem. It's not that he's pale. It's that yeah. Uh, yeah. he looks unhealthy. And he was fine with the guy touching him. He was fine with the guy even yeah, pushing him a little bit. He was, was fine with all that. It's, it's the, just that don't word. Don't say, don't, don't insult his appearance. Mm. So that gives off there. He's probably extremely, extremely prideful. Um, yeah, but also, kind of, not kind of, he's also petty. Mm, yeah. He killed that guy for that. Yeah. And then he took his time killing the girl. Yeah. Who did nothing. She was yeah, just there. Yeah, she just stared. Mm. Yeah. But so. that just, I think that just emphasizes how evil it is. Yeah. Because <laughs> if he had some sort of, I don't know, some, like, sense of, I don't know, reason for wanting to transport demons, like, maybe he has a reason, like, some, some ultra altruistic reason of what he wants to do or change the world into mm-hmm. then I think he would have more thought twice about maybe said something to her scare her and then mm-hmm. leave her but yeah, no we didn't get anything no mm. you did he also said the reason he left his family there is he has business to do and he's bothered about uh, Tandra stuff so now Tandra's on his radar mm-hmm. so that's something to watch out for mm-hmm. so I think he was going into the alley to call those henchmen Probably. Yeah, and he just ended up bumping into these people. So it's like, oh, let me just keep going up and a little further. Unfortunately, mm-hmm. event. Yeah. Yes. It's, <laughs> it's a rule of fiction. If, if you stumble down the alleyway, you're in trouble. But if you walk down the alleyway, this guy's dangerous. Yes. <laughs> if you intentionally go down the alleyway. <laughs> Unless you're super. Well, um, he ran down the alleyway because <laughs> he was looking for felt. Oh, I thought he went down. Um, willingly eventually oh, oh one of the iterations yeah <laughs> uh oh and um muzan also had a flashback to a tanjiro looking dude with oh a yes red sword. That, and that made him real angry so i yeah as i mentioned in the reaction i think he's related of in some way to him hmm. it was the same clothes and the, the and the earring thing mm. so we we have we don't have a backstory of why he wears his earrings and his his outfit like we we've talked about how he looks so different yeah. from the rest of his family so maybe it has either has something to do with his dad or his grandfather mm-hmm. or just a, 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 an ancestor and they passed it down to him because he's oldest the oldest boy yeah yeah he's eldest he's right <clears throat> but i guess we will find out more mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then we moved on to when the guy, uh, what was his name? Yoshino. Yoshiro. Yoshiro. Yoshiro came and got them. Like, you would ask our sore almost to the wrong place. <laughs> <sore. laughs> You're an eyesore. And <clears throat> Tanjiro had to process information. Yeah, like, 404 information yeah, I found. Like, that, 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 doesn't, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> like he was more angry at how he, he, you're not making sense to me. Why are you saying these words? <laughs> yes, but we know now why he thinks she's a nice girl. Because the only person beautiful to him is, is what's her name? Ta- Tamayo, mm-hmm. the yeah. girl. He's just obsessed. <laughs> yes. I, I kind of, I, I always had this little pet theory that perhaps the reason for that is maybe when she was tweaking him, something happened. <laughs> and maybe he became obsessed with her as a result. But, <laughs> nah, funny. it's I just playing. They're probably just playing for laughs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, I know it's because of the muzzle. I'm going to show you without the muzzle. Yeah, he's like ready to take he's it like, off. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, here's my 10 point reason of why you're wrong. <laughs> and and then the conditions. The conditions. What conditions? Tameo's conditions. Oh, well, not conditions, like requests, really. Yes. Like yeah. two main requests to use Nezuko's blood and also for him to get blood from really strong demons so he tanjiro i mean tanjiro is pretty good we know mm-hmm. but we're about to find out how good how like good. Is, is he um muzan henchman good i mean he he does regular demons yeah yeah and he didn't really have much trouble with that one that was playing soldier three mm. he didn't really have trouble there yeah the yeah. only trouble there is when he was trying to wanting to Protect. restrain him so he could talk mm-hmm. to him which yeah. is, I, I think I said it on the patron thing. Like, I, I finally got that at the very end. I was like, why is it taking so long to defeat him? Is it that he's de- strong or no? He was trying yeah. to get to talk to him, but he, he killed He killed two, the two, uh, the heal the more intelligent one and the stupid one with one move. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then the second guy restrained him fairly easily. Yeah. 
so even without Nezuko's help, he's insanely dangerous. The the mountain one that ate all the the kids who was mm-hmm. huge and arms everywhere, mm-hmm. he killed that thing in two moves. Yeah. yeah. And I think the reason he was having such trouble with that is what you were saying. He was trying to restrain him to talk to him. And also, he was trying to protect the people who, mm-hmm. who were next to him. That, right. That, too. That, yeah. too. So, like, he's he's used to finding fighting out in the open. Yeah. He, he's not... He has to get an adapt... He has to get used to an adapt to close range fighting, controlling his movements, mm-hmm. not big sweeping motions like that vortex thing, underwater <laughs> thing. Um, and I think that is going to be our limiting factor when it comes to or, or I guess the, the 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 driver of the plot now mm-hmm. for him not not only does he have to I don't know somehow talk to Muzan mm-hmm. but he has to get this blood now he has he has a lead basically of what he can do for Nezuko he has to get this blood so he can't he has to fight artfully against these demons these yeah. really strong ones he can't just you know whatever kill you like he might he could still because their body's around a little bit after death. It kind of disintegrates though. Fairly it's not quickly, really blood. But, yeah. hmm. <clears throat> I mean, it starts to disintegrate immediately. But I imagine like if you stick a needle in, you you, you would draw some blood probably. Or maybe if he like got another sword, so he dismembered them and then took the blood <laughs> and then used his sword. Just like tap him. all. I don't the think he's gonna do that. <laughs> I know. I'm just, like I'm throwing ideas out there for you, Tandra. <laughs> yeah. Um, I guess the only other thing is looking forward to that fight. With yes, these, these two. These two, yeah. So two hitmen were dispatched. Yeah. <laughs> so we're wondering to what degree? Not wondering. We're going to see to what degree uh, Tanjiro can handle him if he's going to do it by himself. Uh, there's really no one to protect aside from the lady in the bed. So maybe we'll see the doctor fight. Perhaps maybe we'll see. Oh yeah. Yushiro fights. Um, Nezuko probably will fight as well. Yeah. And just a little clarification. Uh, yes, Nezuko saw them as enemies as soon as she realized they were demons, but the, the, um, the sensei specifically had said, you see all demons as enemies, however, he also said, any demon that harms a human, never forgive them. Mm-hmm. So, like, she sees them as enemies, but she's not attacking them because they've uh-huh. been hurting anybody. Well, I don't think he said that demons are enemies. He just said, never forgive a demon who attacks a human. I think that was the I, only thing he said. Mm. I, no, thought, I, I, thought I remember him. Yeah, because he said demons was, are enemies and humans are your family. Humans are your family. He's, he demons said those are your together. enemies. Yeah. And then never forgive a demon who hurts a That human. part I, I don't remember. I don't remember that part, but I believe you guys. Well, uh, well at the very least, there's wiggle room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And she's just playing there on the floor. Right, girls. yeah. <laughs> Didn't care at all. So cute. But yeah. She's just scooting on the on the mat. <laughs> they walk in and she just lays down on the floor <laughs> like, let's go. What are you this, doing? This, this simple light. She lays down flat. She's like, I like this simple light. <laughs> but guys, thank you very much for being here. Guys, if you like the video, please remember to leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and check out the page in the description if you want to see next episode a whole week early, or you just want to support us. So thank you very much. We'll see you guys next time. React Fact. Goodbye. Bye. Oh, bye. And special thanks to Kay, the Cholflan, David, Wordmaster, and Galahad.